Leaders in one New Mexico city say crime has gotten so bad there they want extra police on their streets. It's not Albuquerque. Tommy Lopez explains what the mayor of Española is asking of our governor and the problems that city is trying to solve. Here in Española, city officials say they need more law enforcement support amid an increase in certain kinds of crime. Española Mayor John Ramon Vigil is asking Governor Michelle Lujan Grisham to direct state police officers here to temporarily help patrol and solve crimes in his city. State police gave similar help in October, and city officials say that led to more than 100 arrests in about a month. I'm a big proponent of broken windows theory. Smaller crimes lead to more heinous crimes. The good news right now is there is not a lot of violent crime here. The city saw six homicides last year. But Española officials say the past few weeks there's been an increase in shoplifting, in property damage, drug trafficking, and what they're calling aggressive panhandling. We're trying to create a community where people can shop freely, and so that means that they're not being accosted at the, at the grocery store. Police say someone broke in and stole 100 grand worth of jewelry at one local business. And shoplifting crimes have included someone recently taking hundreds of dollars worth of items from Lowe's. City leaders say people who don't live here are causing many of the issues. An average of close to 100,000 people drive through each day. And they believe there's been an increase in homeless people coming in and staying here. It puts a major uh, undue burden on our community. The support would look something like three to four state police officers each day, possibly starting in the next two weeks and lasting about a month and a half. What we're seeing is something that's not uncommon throughout the country or throughout the state. Española Police Chief Mizel Garcia has been on the job less than a year. He oversaw investigations at the Albuquerque Police Department for more than 25 years. He says his department could really use more officers than the budget allows. Just show the community. I think it's, it's more presence. I think the comfort of seeing police cars. And he would welcome the support. Asking for help if it's available during this short time period, we're going to do it. We look forward to working with them. So Tommy joins us from here in our newsroom. So Tommy, how do city leaders feel about the, the chances they're actually going to get this help from state police now? They say they're confident. The governor's office told us today that they are considering it. We'll add too that the governor has proposed more funding for recruitment efforts for officers as well. Lawmakers are set to discuss that during this session. Okay, Tommy, thanks.